entrepreneur in life. So this year, uh, me and myself is going to be the mentor for this e-circle. Next slide. So in the next 30 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through three questions. What number one, why do you why do we want to join the e-circle? Number two, what uh, what's the e-circle is going to cover? And number three, how will we get covered? And then we'll have uh, Shemi and myself will give a brief introduction of our own, our own background. And then next we'll have uh, three men mentees from 2022 e circle to give you a testimony about what they have learned. And then the last part of it is we have open for questions and answers. So I'll start, I'll lead this session and the we will be the next session, 30 minute session, will repeat. So I encourage everyone to sit here. If you join here in the next 30 minutes, please pick another circle to learn. That's our purpose, to allow you at least a chance to see two circles. So the first question, why? Why do you why do you think or we want to you want to join an e circle? And I think uh, I believe the entrepreneur spirit is in every one of us. And here's why. Um, you know, uh, you say I never thought about doing start a company. When you think of when you heard the word entrepreneur, you would think, oh, that's someone that wants to start a new company. Um, but you know the dictionary de definition of entrepreneur is someone who likes to invent, who wants to create new things or create a new way of doing things. And they are willing to take some risk. And usually the risk is actually beyond normal, normal risk. And, and then they like to receive rewards, right? So if you ask yourself, from time to time, one, I think every one of us probably one time was thinking, hey, I like to do something new, and I'm tired of doing this old way, or um, I'm willing to take some risk and to receive some rewards. I think probably it happens to every one of, every one of us. So that's why I think we may, God create us. I think may, many of us do have an entrepreneurial spirit in us. Maybe you don't know that. So welcome to this circle. I think we want to help you to discover whether you have an entrepreneurial spirit in you. And second is that once you want to take on this entrepreneurship challenge, what kind of problem, difficulty you can run into, and hopefully we can share with you how you can uh, resolve the problem. That's why. Next is what we're going to cover. I think the mission for our entrepreneur circle is to really help you to discover and then to face the challenge. And we really want to find, help you to find out how to uh, start this journey, right? And then how are we going to do that next month? On this, right? Oh, I see it as one well sentence. So we basically wanted to carry, prepare for the challenge of entrepreneurship. And so next, we're going to discuss how we're going to do that. So we plan to do this year, 2023, we start, I think the timing here, I well, maybe wrong, now July to December is actually starting from May to end in November. And what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to cover a number of topics. Here I list just a few of them, like entrepreneur is, it is an extreme sport. That's a topic that I'm very like. <laughs> and next one is how to navigate against obstacles and headwinds. And remember, Michael just mentioned like we're living in a very chaotic time today, right? Think of all the problems we're having. All kind of the COVID is finally over, but we still have the economy downturn potentially. We have uh, war in Ukraine. We have 
financial crisis in the U.S. We have the U.S.-China war, right? And not war, yeah, tension. That's it. And there's a lot of headwinds, a lot of obstacles that really can affect many of our lives. So this could be a good topic. Um, how to survive and pivot. This is for a startup company. That's very important lesson to know how you can actually survive and then you can pivot. And lately, there's another very interesting uh, topic about, I think we'll probably could do that later about this uh, artificial intelligence. And what if that, that phenomenon is going to change when you want to start a company or you want to change your life? And so this is what we plan to do is that we will have two meetings a month. One meeting will be offered, um, that's right, will be um, offered by the mentor, usually give a, a talk on the topic. And so that sets a framework and we will have some discussion. However, uh, we like to do is that in, in two weeks, we'll have a mentee sponsor the extra curriculum activity. And we start that uh, after last year, 2022 is very successful. A lot of mentees really enjoy that. Because what we they felt like once a month talk is not enough. Because the mentee likes to get together and then share the um, their findings or learning and then really you know help each other out. And that was very resounding success, right? And it was thanks to Tommy, uh, Tommy and the Kiva Pastor, they organized an extra, cur 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 extra curriculum activity on their own. And so really it gets very popular. And then they they even create a very uh, very interesting name. They say, yeah, that's a two thousand down So they say this is where this is the time where you can so what it means is that a lot of in last year's uh, 2022 e circle um, mentees are very unique. Uh, this is a, a group that has most many people that are actually are actively involved, engaging in a startup. So many of them are going through all kinds of difficulties and presenting business plan, trying to raise money. So they, um, so when they present their case, they're actually in the circle during the uh, sharing, um, during the uh, extracurricular time, they actually share their business plan and ask for comments and they really need a lot of encouragement you know, because they went through all kinds of difficulties, disappointment. So but they also like to have uh, some close iron because maybe your plan is a little too naive. So you want someone kind of honest, not criticize you, but give you a very positive feedback. And that's very useful for this men, men I think for this uh, mentoring circle uh, program. So this is what we plan to do, right? Why do you want to join? And what we're going to cover and how we're going to do it, right? This year coming in 2023. And then uh, next slide is, uh, we're going to do a brief introduction of myself and the Shemin, next slide. Um, I'll give you a little background. Uh, my background is, uh, I'm a double E by training in electrical engineer. I got my bachelor's degree from Zhaozong University in Taiwan. I came to the US in the 70s, attend the Syracuse University, received my master and PhD degree, also in double E. Then I worked in the East Coast of some com several companies for a few years. We moved to California in the 80s, in the mid 80s. And then uh, I basically uh, joined two startup companies, and each company ran a few years and eventually acquired by a large company. Uh, the first company was acquired by Hewlett Packard, and the second company was acquired by uh, Honeywell. So the overall, this this whole career is thirty some years. 
So I worked in a small company for many years, and then I worked in a large company in a few years too. So, so in the future, we may have a chance we can talk about what do you like about small company, what do you like about big company. But in general, I love small companies. I think that's why I think I like to be in the entrepreneurial circle. I think that's where you can really learn a lot. Uh, that's my background. And Sunny is here, so we want to Sunny and introduce yourself. Oh, I, before I say that, uh, maybe uh, uh, we want to say something that I learned, like what you look back in the previous slide. I have uh, one thing I like to share is that during, during all these years, I learned that to be successful in, in the business or in your personal life, um, you do need to know your customer very well. Customer is uh, because that's you want to know who are your customers first. Second is what does your customer really want, and uh, so that's um, one thing. And there's one very important point I kind of forgot to mention. A lot of um, people ask, why do you call this e circle entrepreneur and life? I think that's a very important part. I almost forgot is that we take, probably not everyone is going to actually start a business or be a real entrepreneur, but we can apply all the, uh, the business experience or entrepreneurship in our personal life as well. So what we like to do is that in this circle, we like to encourage you, teach you all these uh, skills that you can be successful in business. But we can apply the same principle to our personal life with the uh, Christian principle plus this entrepreneurial skill that you learn, you can actually apply to your life. And uh, so I think that's very important and know your customer. And uh, since we have a little time, I'd like to share one of, uh, of the mentors, uh, Paul Tian, he was uh, our mentor previously. He always liked to share a story, I'd like to share again. He says that, um, if you apply the business skill into your personal life, you can think, for instance, um, if you in your family, who is your customer? Right? You, you're, the, you're the man of the house or the wife of the house. Um, your customer is actually your spouse or your children, right? So do you really know what your customer, your wife or your children, uh, need, right? And so that's this constant discovery process. You need to continue to evaluate. And you can apply business principle too. I remember Paul Wallace used this example. I liked it very much. He said, when you buy a new product, you kind of uh, got a rough A product, and two years later, you got an improved version, rough B, right? Rough C, you always get that. But he says, think about yourself. You're the, you're the, you're the business to satisfy your customer. You're the husband. You're you're the father of your family. Are you still the same ref A husband or ref A father over the, all these years? You've been married for ten years or twenty years. Are you still the same same old ref A? You didn't improve yourself. Uh, so same is especially for the children, right? Your children, when they're a baby or a kid, you treat them one way, but then when they grow up in teenager, if you still treat them the same way, like if you're a a father, if you and don't try to improve yourself and help to communicate better with your children, you're gonna have a problem. Right? So you better learn how to improve yourself, become a rep team. So I think there's a lot of business wisdom that can apply to your personal life too. So I want to emphasize that point. We, we're not only here to talk about business advantage, we also like to see that it can affect your personal life. Okay, so for me. Can I go there? Yes. Okay, so how much time do I have? Two minutes, okay. <laughs> I'm very time positive. So uh, can you see me? Yeah. Uh, so Mike, okay. I'm in. For those online, uh, so yeah. My name is Shenning Shen. And so um, I have three decades working in Spirix. Uh, before starting my own startup six years ago, 
I was a director of engineering at Cora. So there was a time we still meet here. And so I list this place and prepared my great flight to come back and see you guys in person. Um, so that's about me. And Peter talked about, I love uh, the topic about entrepreneurship is an extreme sport, right? And I do like that because, and that's some of the topic we'll share more in our session. But for now, I just want to talk, let you know that um, entrepreneurship principle, you can apply in the personal as well as business level. And the difference is that they both are different. And so the process is very similar, but uh, risk are similar, but sometimes it's just, it's just not so clear. So with that, I'll leave more time for the next session. And um, I'll give time back to Peter. So for more to talk about, thank you. Thank you. Um, so next, what we'll try to do is uh, we can do ask, uh, we have asked a few of the main team from last year, 2022, to record a video clip. And there's also a live person that wants to do a test, 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 testimonial live, right? So let's see if we can. And then we'll, we'll introduce a little bit on the past activity. Let's do this first, maybe. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just quickly over to show you what we have done in the past. 2019, that's when we before the COVID. That's when we still have. Uh, in person meeting, we meet here. And that year, we have a lot of mentees, more than 25. I think that's why we divide into two groups. And you see this session group 1A. Can you imagine that group meets here Saturday morning, 8 o'clock? So you have to give credit to these. <laughs> they really committed to come. How many of you would willing to get up? Saturday morning, you're supposed to sleep in and get up early, drive here at the eight o'clock. So we have a very two very good food. And then next slide, um, 2020. That's when the COVID hit. Everything fall apart, right? Everyone learned how to adjust to the um, work from home. And we have more people, more mentee, but that particular day when we took a picture, we have a few people. But the first time we learned how to communicate through the online meeting. And then next slide. 2021, we'll still stay in home. So we have a group. And that year, I think a particular thing interesting was that we did a lot of study of famous founder of, or famous company. And then we each, each mentee did a study and a present. Uh, their findings. What? What? Why were they successful? Or why are they? Why do they fail? And many of the mentee felt that's really very useful you know, to learn from these successful or failed business in the past. And the last year, 2022, is one of the most exciting ones because many of them are actually are actively engaged in the real business of startup business, including Asha here. Starting a business, so they actually have a lot more um, real pain and real pain uh, to share with everyone. So that's a very exciting year. So let's hear from them, some of the uh, mentee of last year, to give a test testimony testimonial. Who can we tell you one? Yeah, Peter. Yeah. Hi, 大家好, 我是EMBA eCircle的学员Condi 我觉得对我来讲的话不只是知识本身因为现在资讯这么发达 我们获取知识的途径有很多, 
本身对创业有很多的想法，我特别鼓励你来参加 E Circle， 和 Peter 老师有一个近距离的探讨，我相信你一定会受益匪浅。那盛明老师呢，是一位非常睿智、非常有温度、有影响力的领导者，所以如果你特别想成为一位有影响力的人，我特别鼓励你来参加 E Circle， 然后看看生命老师他如何用他的爱心把他的温度传递出来，成为一位很有影响力的人。那除了两位导师以外，我们的同学对我的帮助也很大，大家在不同的领域对创业有不同的想法。然后我们平时学习之余的沟通也给了我很大的鼓励，让我在创业的过程当中不孤单。所以。如果你也在创业的过程当中，然后需要一群志同道合的朋友，那我特别的鼓励你来到 E Circle。所以我相信这里的导师和这里的同学一定会成为你很大的帮助和鼓励。嗯、Hello。各位 EMBA Open House 的伙伴们，大家好，我是 John， 去年二零二二年 E Circle 的学员，我自己本身也是创业家，四年前成立了 Open Air Fab， 一间专注于智慧医疗的形状公司。非常感谢国威大哥邀请，让我有机会能参加 E Circle 的培训。那在半年的期间呢？呃 ，Peter 老师还有盛明老师带着大家从呃沟通的技巧，呃 ，BP 投资人要看什么，好、哦，教了我们非常多创业所必须要具备的一些知识。那而且其实当我知道 Peter 老师本身是 Sky Deck 的 mentor 的时候，其实我是非常压抑的，因为平常要约到 Sky Deck 的 mentor 是非常不容易的，但是 Peter 老师每个月。花好多时间陪着我们。那盛明老师他也是个创业家，呃，我在盛明老师身上看到了非常多的温度跟智慧，我是非常非常的感念的。那在这个呃培训的过程中，呃，我觉得跟着伙伴们哈，呃，几乎大家都是一些创业家，有机会做一些呃定期的一些交流分享，我觉得其实对于创业本身就是一个帮助啊。那呃。很开心大家来听到这个呃 open house， 那也觉得说呃今年大家其实更有福气哈、哦。我们在去年的时候由于疫情的关系，其实基本上都是线上的活动，对。那今年的话，应该会有很多的一些实体的活动，那所以大家千万不要错过 EMBA 的活动。祝福大家，拜拜。Can you talk in English, please? Okay, 好，现在 OK 吗？随便，下次就。呀，好，非常开心呀， yeah, 已经是呃第二次，我是已经是第二次参加这个课程 ，E Circle 的课程。然后，就像刚才 Peter 老师讲的，就是我们这个 Circle 其实不光光是事业上的 ，business 上的创业，也是一个 personal 的创业。我还记得一九年的时候，我的朋友 Jeff 把我带到了这个 E Circle。那时候他有一个 business plan， 就是想要在很短的时间找到他的另一半。然后二零二零年我们为他举办了婚礼，接下去他现在可能已经正在准备第二个孩子。那我们就看到说，其实我们在这个创业的人生当中，其实有很多是我们一辈子都在需要去学习和经营的。那上一学期的话，我觉得我也是学到很多不一样的功课。呃，在课程中，很多的同学都是已经呃创业了，正在寻找投资者。我非常开心，说这门课让我们转变了一个观念。呃，因为我们自己平时看到自己所经营的事业产品都是非常的不错，但是我们很少从一个呃客户的角度去感受到说他们真正的需要是什么。那这堂课也让我学习，说要 target 自己 focus 自己要找到的一个 target 的客户的人群，他们需要什么？为什么？他们需要的是我的服务或者是我的产品。那同样，呃，我在盛明老师的课程中一直也是在学习一个呃同伴陪伴的过程，跟着自己的
团队的伙伴一起向前行的这个过程，这是一直在不断的学习和体验中。同样，在这门课中，我觉得还有一个非常大的得着，就是同学们大家在一起激烈的分享，大家把自己的呃生活中和创业过程中遇到的各种问题，在课程中我们有吐槽大会，大家一起分享。哎，这其中也是看到有很多，其实也是自己身上一直想要去。找到的一些困惑，所以非常鼓励大家在下一学期。我看到下一学期的课程，我都觉得我蛮想要再继续上一次。我看到，呃，一九年到二二年，其实有很多的同学是不止一次在 e c i r c l 我相信大家跟我一样，体会到是每一次。在 e c i r c l 其实大家学到的东西都是不一样，而且每个人都在不断的成长。呀，谢谢大家。好，谢谢 Alice。OK， 嗯、um, ，I think the remaining time will open up for some question and answer. I think、uh, if you like to join, we sincerely hope hope that、uh, people in person or online can sign up for the e-circle to check it out. I think it's a little bit fun.、Um, I also want to say something about the、uh, the video testimony. I think、uh, several of them told me. They have、uh, take almost ten times to make the vision because I don't know if they tried it before. I、uh, after the COVID, I also have to do some video things to、um, in the in the angel investment group. I I realize it's very hard when you try to talk to the video and then you look at your own video. You say, "How、oh, come that's me?" <laughs> and then. Many of the video you saw, they all say they have takes at least ten times. We take ten times to make the video, so appreciate the immense effort. Any questions? Any questions、uh, online? Anyone online? I guess probably not.、Huh? Any chat room questions about this circle? I think after this, I think we are supposed to switch. To, you are welcome to go to other group because certainly even more as in the room people we just cover. So encourage you to go to other、um, circle. And then、um, for、uh, Leslie, is it Leslie?、Yes. Um, in in the、um, circle, we、we'll, we、we'll、use English, so don't worry about it. So language is not the issue. Most of us.、Huh? How many, how many, how many minutes we have until the end of the session? I think we're already uh yeah, we passed done, done. I think we passed the time. Because I'm just curious about why I, I would like to understand why they choose to listen to the circle. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to get out of this one? That that be interesting. How many person? You don't know people when people don't ask question, ask any question. Yeah, <laughs> very much. Sorry, you want to say why? Why do you decide to not come to it? That's okay. So, uh, so I, I'm I'm totally new.、Um, I I, I work in the SaaS for、uh, not anymore. I just like happened to be here today.、Uh, as a newbie, I、uh, like I'm、uh, in the older age. So、uh, if I go in the circle, like what 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 the man learn or what the man I contribute? That that's my what could I contribute? To be asked more questions. Thank you. Yeah, that's a very good question. I、right? I think、uh, especially you went through a startup experience. You probably can share it with many the mentees. The 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 good thing about the circle is that it's not just a mentor and mentee. It's actually a mentee group that you can share many of your precious experience in startup, right? That you can share it with them. Any other questions? Yes. Not there. Want to share? <laughs> you? Yeah. 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 Why do you decided to come here to check it out? Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Ken. Uh, I work in the construction management field, and、uh, I work my wife. So, uh, we work in the company for three years, and、uh, we're just thinking about how we, what can we do to put our knowledge to build our our own. Side business, and eventually maybe a chance to start、uh, our own business. So it's、uh, it's great that we we attend、uh, 
the LLCC uh, and the service uh, offline on last Sunday and uh, we find this group and then uh, just join here and trying to learn more. I do not to you Let's see. No. No problem. Oh, um, hi everyone. Um, my name is Tony. Um, uh, so basically, I also find uh, this book from the church, and uh, before I always have some ideas that I want to make some apps. I'm not aiming for uh very uh sophisticated uh, product, but I'm just doing something, let's say just to find uh, a side job for me. So I found that some apps uh, already have, uh, basically have similar ideas like what I had before. So I'm also looking for, uh, from, from this group that, how can I make my first step or how to say, for example, after I finish my product, how do I market? Uh, my product or basically to minimize my risk. Basically, that I'm looking for those kind of uh, experiences or, and uh, advices. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Andrew. Is Michael can you hear or see me? Hi. Yeah, okay. Well, my name is Asher. Uh, my background is in software engineering. Actually, to be honest, this is the third time that I've came to the seminar. And, and it's been, I, I really enjoyed this, uh, attending the session, and I have learned a lot, um, received a lot of benefit. I really appreciate the uh, personal guidance and the mentorship from all these men. Uh, um, the reason I'm being here, I learned the reason here is that I'm in the middle of launching a new business. And um, to be honest, I made all the mistakes I can make. <laughs> so in hindsight, I could listen more carefully to all the advice that I received on mental. I thought it pretty safe myself. But a lot of aggravation and the thing. Um, so, but back to the main thing is that uh, after all this trial, numerous iteration of trial and error, I think I'm ready to come to the point that I'm ready to go to the next step. You know, I'm ready to step out of my comfort zone. This and more reason why I need to be here. Like I said, I want to, I want to learn to bring, brainstorm with each other because I think I, you know, I know where's my limit, and there's blind side. Each one of them, all, we all have our own blind sides. So here to learn from each other, um, learn from the, all the mentors, special experience to get me to the next step and to build a um, more successful business. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's it. I think we probably so some people coming in. So we're gonna have our next session start pretty soon. Yeah, next session coming soon is from Shengmin, but I I believe I see, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to waste the time because uh, if you're here, it's about time. So we want to hear from you two. So this is the mic, right? Okay. Oh, where is the, the I think that one was better. The one was better? Okay, so what? Yeah. yeah. Okay, don't worry. All right. So, um, so uh, we still have uh, so online, all right, good. So just so you know, um, we're starting a second session of the East Circle uh, to make the best use of the time. So you gotta understand what we're talking about. So Peter shared about the first session. Uh, so I think um, because there's not official transition yet, I encourage you to check out different circles. If you have not, but if you're really into E-Circle, you want to hear what I got to say in a different version, you're welcome to stay, okay? You're encouraged, but you're not kicked out. <laughs> All right, so for those who dare to join us, you'll be challenged. All right, I like the challenge. Okay, good. I like it. All right, I like it. Bring it on, man. Yes, I like it. So you will be asked uh, to talk about what you expect to hear from this session. 
I think it'd be very difficult because I we have some prepared content, but the purpose is to address your question. So I thought it's much, much more effective. I prefer to hear from you first about what you expect to learn from this session very quickly, and I will try to address your question as much as possible. That's not good. They're going to get up for the challenge. Let's go. I said, and the is in an extreme sport. So I like sport. Okay. So, uh, yes. The mic will work on the challenge. Pass the mic to me. Oh, yeah. In, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, one more. Right. Welcome, welcome. You're not, you're not late. Welcome, welcome. So I don't know whether anyone online join us today. Now you want to talk about what your expectation from the session today. So Kuming, do they have the option to speak up directly online? Yeah. Okay. So I want to reserve give the time to people who are online. Anybody want to say unmute yourself and talk about why you're here and what you want to learn. For this 30 minutes, please. So, anyone want to share online? So, just unmute yourself. You only got 20 seconds because <laughs> I only typically got a 30 second protocol. If you don't speak up in 30 seconds, we move on. Okay. 15. Okay. Please. Yeah. So for me, I think the main reason is I really want to learn how to apply the biblical principles into my life, especially like how to be creative, how to create ways, and how to discover God's unique plan for me. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, anybody else? Can you please repeat the question? Thank you. Uh, Cool. Okay, so I am asking all the invite attendee to talk about why you are here. You want what you want to learn from this thirty minutes session, so I can tailor my content to your needs. Is it okay? That's a that's a that's the ask. All right, anybody else? Yeah, please. Would you mind? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Yes. I would be more interested in terms of when you said that uh, life is in entrepreneurs but in sport, are you going to be talking about highlights? Are you making your relationship or or just how you have investments? Just for want to be more interested in your whole entrepreneurship. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Please. So we can tailor to content for your needs. For this session, for this session, for this session, yes. All right. Okay, cool. So, for me, so we can just get, I, I guess there's no no input from online attendee. If you're online, you want to talk or quickly talk about why you're here and what you want to learn about eCircle, it's time to say your wish. I will try, I will try my best to make a wish come true, okay? I can promise, but I will try. And that's itself the lead is entrepreneurship. You try best. You can guarantee success. So we can go to the slide if you want. So welcome to the entrepreneurship and the life circle. My name is Shenming Shen. And so with me is Peter. Uh, we graduated from the same college in Taiwan. And so I think uh, Peter got his PhD in Syracuse. And I got my master from Stony Brook, as it being East Coast too. Um, I don't know whether Peter got experience in working experience in Taiwan. No, I did have uh, I, I did have working experience in Taiwan before I moved to the States. And so before starting my own company about six years ago, I was the director director of engineering at Qualcomm. That's what I mean. And Peter will talk about himself uh, later. And so, uh, very glad to see you here. And so, Peter's mission, uh, in fact, let me back, back up. I always like to ask why. I don't know whether you like a question about why. I always ask why, right? So, for me, next page. That's what we talk about why this circle. Entrepreneurship is in every one of us. It's in our life. It could be starting a business. 
you know, last session we heard people interested in entrepreneurship circle because he might want to develop a new account to do something, but he didn't know how to get started. And so I do think, and I do think entrepreneurship could apply to the personal as well as business. Let me say it this way. What is entrepreneurship? In my own definition, you see a problem that is worth solving. And you try your best to collect all the resources. Maybe it's readily available, or maybe that's not available right now, but to solve that problem. That to me, that's my definition of entrepreneurship. So I hope that makes sense. On a personal level, the customer or the stakeholders could be just yourself. We got a question about, hey, entrepreneurship is an extra support. Do you mean highlight or something else you're talking about? Well, if you look at exchange support, that typically you have a lot to do with any single person want to take a personal challenge to test their own limits, right? In that kind of example, he himself is the only stable. As long as he or she is fine, it's okay. He failed, he failed. He did it, he did it, right? In that example. But when I say entrepreneurship is like an extreme sport, I was not talking about it. I was referring to the challenge, the risk, the failure, the humiliation you would face when you do that kind of stress. Okay? But there are also some positive effects about the Eastern sport. Because you got excitement of maybe claiming you had a great look about your own limits. You have a joy of seeing so high above the sky, seeing the scene, the magnificent scene you never get to see. Before. You have a joy and fun, right? So you have negative side, you have positive side. That's what I'm talking about. Entrepreneurship is life and business. I hope that makes sense to you. However, we all understand to do extreme sports, you better have trained to reduce your capital. Is that right? And that's what this circle is about. To me, the so called entrepreneur circle is about training to reduce your capital and to improve your resiliency, like our keynote speaker talking about. All right. I hope this put the whole things together about the topic and what we talk about here. All right. So, so therefore, I hope you understand. Uh, Peter mentioned about a good example in our last session on a personal level. Put, a, put aside this so-called quote-unquote skydiving or surfing, rock climbing, those kind of expensive for sites. Look around your personal life, your relationship with your family, if you're married, with a wife, husband, not married with a friend, your parents with your child, with your parents. How are these relationships going? Are they good? Or they, could, they, could they be room to improve? These are all kind of things that call problems to be solved, isn't right? So say, no, my relationship with my wife is just not good enough. So you ask yourself a question. What's the state of our solution? That's what we typically ask in our intervention journey. We can do that, right? So that's on a personal level. On a business level, when I say on business level, I should use a better word. I say on a corporate level. Corporate means you're not alone. You want to get more people involved, not just your personal life. I say on a corporate level, you can divide it into non for profit and for profit. For non for profit, you, for example, social enterprise, you, you do this, you start this initiative, it is not for the benefit of your own or your own kind of, uh, kind of shareholders. Right? For nonprofit, you want to have an impact on the society. That's good. So there are stakeholders for that kind of a social enterprise. 
you have safe social uh, you, your stakeholder would be those who you intend to have impact to and those who are willing to support your initiative so you want to get these stakeholders fighting on the other hand you go to business you say okay this is one of your for-profit business well i need to find people willing to invest in me in, in, in addition to myself people willing to buy my product and, and services so my business could be sustainable right so all uh, I just give you the different threads of how entrepreneurship could be applied to how you work, as well as the so called corporate or business level. Okay, next please. Because it's everywhere, you could find it in so many different places. It's so important to understand. Next please. You need to be prepared. That's why the trend is. And here you want to understand the meaning and the purpose of why you're doing things. When you want to face so many challenges and face huge crises, how do you prevent, reduce the agency? Next, please. So how do we do it? We're going to host six months later. This whole program is about six months and consists of two kinds of meetings. And they're interlinked. In other words, you can imagine there'll be five weekly meetings. But each topic, meeting, first meeting will be hosted by the mentor, Peter and me. And the second meeting will be basically driven by a mentee, like you, you join us. So it's called, you can, next, yes. So interlinked, yes, I talk about meeting structures. And topic wise, we will cover the topics like uh, entrepreneurship is an extreme sport. And like I mentioned, we'll talk about more details. We join the circle. We talk about how to navigate against the obstacles and headwinds. Imagine, you guys, you go to extreme sport, right? You gotta have all this kind of stuff. You solve a tough problem. And we'll be talking about how to survive and pivot. And we're talking about how to discover. How to uh, customer discovery in the changing times? I can tell you, anything if you do anything in entrepreneurship, the clear identification from the customer is the key, is the basis. A lot of times we do things we don't even know what our customer is. That's the problem. Is that? That's why you don't you fail terribly in the product market fit because you don't know who your customer. A lot of times we say things to, for example, even on a personal level too, right? Even on a personal level. I thought I want men to help my kids, be, but you know what? I heard them badly because I'm not talking to my husband. I'm just talking to what I want to say, whatever I want to say, it doesn't matter, right? That's, if you can apply the same entrepreneurship principle, review and examine the details, you have a total different perspective in addition to frustration that you have. Congratulations. Okay, so next please. And so I'll let Peter introduce about himself. He's very happy to have you. Thank you, Lenny. And the next slide, just uh, briefly, I say um, my background I have a double E, like a double E uh, from Calhoun uh, University in Taiwan. Um, I came to the uh, States in the 70s and then. Uh, I got my PhD from Master and PhD from Syracuse University, also in Double E. And I worked in the East Coast for a few years. We moved to uh, California in, 19, in the middle, mid 80s. And then uh, for the next 30 some years, I basically worked for two startup companies and then co founded two startup companies. And then the uh, first company was acquired by Hewlett Packard. The second company was acquired by Honeywell. Um, after each acquisition, I, I stayed home for a few years. So I experienced a startup company and also experienced a large corporation. Um, but in general, I love in small, small startup company. So that's how I enjoy it. And, and uh, right now I retire. And then I also, but I'm still continue to engage with uh, many small startup company, help them mentoring advising for them. Um, all these years I learned something I certainly already mentioned 
most important thing to success to be successful in your business or in your uh, even personal life is that you, you have to know who are your customer and what do they really want or what do they really need. And that's the key to succeed. Okay, that's a very good introduction. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, no, appreciate it. Uh, so next, please. Uh, I don't need to talk about myself, but I want to share about what I believe. And I do believe this is a competitive advantage of being a Christian. I think so. I truly believe so. Because uh, I think Bowen uh, in his sharing this morning talking about this is kind of a uh, Christian focus or faith-based kind of a marketplace ministry. Um, not just we don't, it's not that we Christians should have a place. I do believe Christian has an advantage. Because a lot of times when you are in a journey of entrepreneurship, you feel lonely. You feel lonely, trust me. Because so many setbacks and the failures, humiliations, am I right? To get a re got rejected, for example. That would make you feel like you're worthless. Even though it may just be a problem of the product or the fit issue. Is the solution is not value, but you turn that into yourself is not value. You see what I'm saying? That's a lot of times that's it. And I think if you truly, truly get a blessing from God, you will know that your value is not defined by the solution. Your value is already defined by the you yourself. This is a very, very solid foundation from my understanding of my own experience, for you to carry on this entrepreneurship journey, whether you make it or not in other people's eyes, but the fact that you are able to experience that is such a reward in our short life and work. I hope you agree with me. So therefore, my gift and my motto I'd like to share with you is, you might be lonely and lost, but the truth is, you will never, never alone. In two things. Number one, you know that God is always with you. If you want to be with him. Number two, you have a group of people around you to support you all the time. A lot of times we are so focused on our mistakes, our failures, setbacks. We don't see anything but our set problem. Right? So I just want to remind you this again for you. Next one. All right, so these are past activities. Uh, I think uh, Peter did a wonderful introduction in the past. So Peter, do you want to do it again? Last session? I thought Peter did a, did a wonderful job, so I want to give it this to Peter. I just want to show something in the past that we have done. In the 2019, this is before COVID time, that's a wonderful time to meet here in this room. And uh, in 2019, we have more than 25 mentees signed up. So we actually divided into two groups. And I have to really mention the first group, one day group, that's the group that get up on Saturday morning, probably seven o'clock, and drive all the way here, eight o'clock to meet. So that shows the commitment of these mentees. And then we talked a lot of interesting topics in that year. Next, 2020. Next slide. That's when COVID hit. I think everyone remember that. We all of a sudden have to learn how to do online, isolated. But I think we still have a good time. I think the people, many attended is more than that. At that particular day, we have fewer people. And next slide, 2021, we're still um, isolated. Uh, that year, I remember the highlight was that we asked each mentee to study um, a, a story of famous founder or a famous startup company and share and then do a report to share their success and failure. And many uh, of the mentees, the feedback was that it's really helpful to see how people succeed and how widely they fail. 
in 2022, last year, I mentioned that this is the one of the most interesting group because it's almost more than half of one, two thirds of them are actually involving in starting up, like Fumi, for instance, Asher, they're all actually involved in starting up company. So this group has a lot of interaction, the mentees will help each other. And then the, the two, two classic uh, rep, uh, Eva and the Kandiva on the picture, they are they're very proactive. They organize the extracurricular activity. So every other two weeks they get together and to share the uh, feedback, help each other. And they create a very uh, interesting name. They call Tu Tao Da Hui. <laughs> they basically say, uh, during the Tu Tao Da Hui, you can Zhang Ko Mo Yan, what is it? Xue Zhang, Xue Zhong Song Tan. You can help them or you can give them honest critic, critique. So that was a very good group. We hope that we can do something similar this year. Okay. Next please. Thank you. So I think uh, then we have some time to hear from Columbia, those who attended the circle before we ask to share about what they see. So for me, when you're ready, please go ahead to the play. Thank you. Uh, 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 Hi, EMBA Open House的学员，大家好，我是Vicky，很高兴今天有这样子的机会来分享我上完EMBA的一社口之后的一个得着分享。我为什么参加这门课呢？有两个原因，第一个原因是我在Corporate 我的工作岗位必须要不断的有突破创新，而且要不断的有一些呃我的mindset不断的提升，来真的是提升我在职场上的竞争力。那感谢欧文mentor，他曾经告诉我，呃，一社口呢不仅是为这些创业的学员所设
呃，从我最基本的一个呃 business 的一个基础开始，不管在产品上的一个一个呃一一个提升，或者是在呃客户的关系上的一个 build up。那还有就是说，在如何写好一个啊比较有竞争力的一个 business plan， 当你需要真的是资金不足的时候，你如何可以在啊向投资者去 present， 可以得到一些你真的是可以筹到的一个资金。那这是啊在 e c i r c l e 上，我们真的是可以，真的是很感恩这些门拓，真的是呃盛明跟 Peter。他们这两位企业家真的是用他们生命在这个神的家里面所摆上的，他们真的是所呃花的时间也帮助我们这些学员可以减少很多的冤枉路。那感谢他们所为我们所呃摆上的每一样的一个时间跟他们的心力。那我也感谢我们今年有很棒的两位班带，一个是伊娃跟 c o n d i 啊、呃，这两位班带呢，是我们非常感恩，他们真的是为我们尽心尽力，在为我们所有的学员在。生日快乐！谢谢。嗯。Hello. I think this one works. This one works. Sure. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky. Ah,、uh, because the rest of the content would be amazing. Peter already talked about it because they are on your peers about the fact that so. I want to reserve the time for you guys. So, for those who attended in person or online, if any questions, if you got any questions, please. Yes. Yeah, I think. Uh, you won't be seen. Oh. oh, okay. So, um, uh, this is Judy. I'm I'm so glad I could come here and be part of this first event. I think this is so helpful to see the videos, to hear the testimony. So, my question is. Initially, I came here for the e circle, for the business, for the corporate, and so after this, I got lost. Sorry, we cannot hear the speaker. Sign up for two sessions at A or B. A and B. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. This is E. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? No offense. So,、uh, yes, I think what we talk about.、Okay. You can when you register, you can register for two circles、okay. or more. Yes, as well. Yeah, because we on a Monday, there's no conflict in the meeting schedule as long as you work your pertinent session. Thank you, Judy. Excellent. Any other questions? Oh, I have some questions for Shunli.、Oh, please. Ah,、okay. uh, asking questions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, please. You want to be seen? You come here. Oh, that's okay. People love to see who is talking. <laughs> Yeah, hi guys. So I was also a mentee for the last、um, session. So、uh, I do have some questions for the entrepreneurs. Um, um, like what the first question is why like Asian entrepreneurs they always follows. We are always um not that creative like in terms of the new technology, either in internet technology or in ChatGPT. But they're all created by like white Americans. So why do you think Asian entrepreneur always follows? So that's one question. Well, Peter, want to take this question? Okay. 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 Yeah. Peter always will leave easier one for me. <laughs> <laughs> so、um, this is my two cents. Again, this one I say is our belief to be the foundation of how we interpret those phenomena. So, can somebody repeat the question, please? God's creation, the God specific equip innovation capability only in certain group of people. I don't think so. I don't believe in things like this. So therefore, for me, this question is about: Is there any specific training or process that could help us to be more willing to either innovate or willing to take risks? If you ask me. Uh, my two cents to Fumi's response is: Why did he see less creative work, relatively less creative work, in certain group of people? In this case, he's talking about maybe we, or those of us, or Chinese, for example, or Asian. I think risk adverse is one important factor. If you ask. 
willing to dream big is another. Because both, let me repeat again, my two cents. Risk adverse. Think about the price you want to pay and how many times you have stopped doing what you want to do because of risk associated with it. We heard so many stories about, for example, those uh, Chick-fil-A or those fast food chain, they've been trying to sell their recipe. They've been denied 999 times, only the 1,000 times they got a willing buying customer, so they made it. And most people would die before the 999 try. That's it. Risk, how do you take the payment? And so that is, and secondly, the dream big. Dream big is a relief, right? If you want to dream big, then most likely you are not proud of it. It's not going to happen. So these are things, are important things that need to be properly nurtured. But I think in the right context, because in, in a functional society, you really cannot just have a bunch of agreement to give me doers. So I think this is, to me, is a very important question. On a personal level, I would say, yes, face your fear. Face your fear and make a breakthrough. That's my encouragement. On a corporate level, if I'm, I have an impact on the society, say, for example, if you're a politician, how do you sell an education policy? Then you need to be clear, very care careful about what you're promoting. You're promoting not only the risk taking capability, you also have a pipeline of strength to make a functional society. There's a balance you need to do. That's just my response. Okay, any other questions? Sorry, I answered too long, which means I don't have to answer. By the way, this is my tip. If the guy can just use one sentence to answer the question, if the guy know what he's talking about. Me, I use three minutes to talk about that. Means I really don't know about it. Then David, give a friend the All right. So, any other questions online or in person? I just couldn't help. Can I just follow up? Say something about it. Mike, please. So they can start on the Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Listen. Anyway, I just couldn't help to to add some of my own thoughts in response to that. I'm sorry. Uh, Judy's kind of thing. I think the reason why um, China, Chinese, either one from Taiwan or one from China, are not well known for their ability to innovate, is to raise innovate that don't challenge it from that experience. Right? Ever since we were in the school, we were, we were motivated to get a high score, but don't ask questions, don't challenge the authority, don't challenge on that experience. That really put Put yourself in the box. If you want to make it great, you have the chance to come back. So because the market is very efficient, like right? what you can think of how this being done on the money to come back in, how that you already can challenge the convention. So that's where the legal can come back. That's my concern. Feel free to correct. Thank you, Asher. Make sure you just demonstrate it. If you really know the answer, you can put it in your right? Anybody else? Oh, we got a question from online. Yeah. Oh, uh, so Glory, can you unmute yourself? Um, Gloria, right? Yeah. Go okay, ahead. yeah. Um, I am a business owner, not in the high tech uh, field. I'm an uh, architect and in interior designer in uh, Seattle area. So I, my question is, will this group talk about um the the business operating um market marketing um relationship with clients and all those things uh grow the business or just for the uh starter business owners you know uh for the young business owners or um or this is just for the high tech field and we circle in a more corporate environment talk about employer employee how do you manage your employee, your boss, that on a corporate setting? So that's it. But uh, leadership circle, that could be applicable, right? Because we talk about leadership, it could be if you're an owner, 
that you care more about your how do you become an impactful leader in your position? Maybe there's a good circle. You want to switch your channel right now before it's too late. Thank you. Just a follow up. I think actually in the past, in the e circle, we have a mentee that actually has owned a restaurant that do serve drink. Okay. Um, the, the, the two ones, I think. So, that's kind of a drink, right? Drinks business. There's also a business that actually uh, do um, education, like a homeschooling type of uh, business. So it's not really limited to the high tech. And the principle actually is applied for different business startup. Start um, but I think the key difference, E Circle is focused on the user one, really the startup part. And then B circle tends to be in a bigger corporation inside business that's in the main difference. Thank you. Any more questions? Online or in person? Oh, oh no question. Okay. That's called AMA session, right? Ask me anything. <laughs> okay, uh, I have one more question. Yeah, for me, please. Yes. He's an entrepreneur. Always break the boundary. Okay. Sounds good. So, uh, um, I just, so I'm, I'm also running like a Web3 Fair Web3 Club, and I'm also being among non Christians. And what I observed that I find there's very difference between entrepreneurship culture and the Christian culture. Um, so sometimes I find there even some conflict in Christian culture. Um, for example, in doing business, sometimes they're talking about like wolf culture. They're talking about why, um, like Asian um startups they're doing okay, but they're not doing great. Why? Because they're lacking of like wolf culture, and this is something like Christians are trying to get rid of. So, how do you like? What is your thoughts on that? Or have you ever encountered with like this confusion? Like, thank you. If you like his question, give him a big round of applause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I'll give you one time. So like, there's an easy one that I would take first. Uh, so uh, this is how I would take it. Um, do you believe there's a Christian world? I'm just kidding. Right? And so the matter is where do you put your value? How do you put yourself as a success? Do you believe you can massive amass most fortune on earth as a success? Or do you believe that you have to do something that has an impact as a success? At the end of the day, that's a metrics. So hear about, if you recall what the keynote speaker, Dr. Alan talked about. What, remember what he said? He's okay to be taken advantage of because I have more to give away. What is that? That's the mindset of a generosity. You never hear that from Wolf. You never. Right? You never hear it from Wolf because Wolf see the meat, they jump on that, get it, grab it, that's mine. Okay? Even as my brother and sister, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill until I got it. It's all about me, me, and me. I will conclude this with, with this uh, two sentence I think I learned through the entrepreneurship journey is there are a, mean, a billion ways to fail. Trust me, there are tons of ways to fail, but there are a million ways to succeed. A wolf way could be a way to succeed, but doesn't mean that's the only way. That's a way I'm not leaving. Because at the end of the day, it, it, it does depend on what is the value you can leave in. What's your value? That's what determines your journey. So we can all leave a purpose driven life. All right, that's my response. Thank you. Any other questions? Please, would you mind? Would you mind so they can see you? Yeah, be very, very helpful. I'm very encouraged. Every one of us is taking a breakthrough. We need to speak in person. Oh, hey, you mind here? They, they change the camera. We don't mind you. Yeah, you just arrived at the camera. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hi, um, so my question is simple. I'm just wondering if it takes certain personality to become a successful entrepreneur or what kind of characteristic qualities um, 
you see uh, in those successful interviews? Excellent question. So the shift, right? Okay. The people want to question? Yeah. Uh, okay. So if I were to answer this question, I know everyone has his or her own response to this question. My question is this one. I'd like to use the analogy of extreme sport. I want to think about the negative feelings I talked about in the beginning. Challenges? Risk? Failure? Loss? Humiliation? The other hand, excitement, joy, the view, and breakthrough. Which one weighs more on you? Ask yourself that question. If you always this negative side weighs more on you, more than likely, you will not do those things. Does it make sense? Because there's nothing called a zero risk. I always told my guys, don't try to eliminate the risk. You cannot eliminate the risk. Risks need to be managed. Manage doesn't mean you have complete control. Again, that's what I say competitive advantage of Christians. Because being a Christian, you know you don't control the things. You know there's a limit about the circle of your influence. There are only certain things you can do, and you leave the rest out of your minds. You don't control it, but you can accept the consequence. You need to be responsible for that. That's a hard truth, but that's a reality. You can have this, then you're in good, you're, you're on a good shot. I think you then, you can live a life, I would say entrepreneurial life, of no fear. In other words, you, the less fear you have, the chances higher that you could embark on an entrepreneurial journey, whether it's on a personal or on a corporate level. I hope that makes sense. Right. Okay. So, any other question you guys want to ask? A few. Okay. okay. So, well, I think uh, Joanne just told me that, that we need to end uh, this session. I really encourage everyone to um, to register. You got the early bird uh, discount by uh, by twenty eight forty eight hours. Forty eight hours, right? And then uh, I really encourage you to check out and then. Join us. I think that's a really fun journey. And then please stay also. We can share more. I think that's this is the first time in three years we have in person, so we can share with everyone. We have a lot of uh, things here. Please stay and then share with everyone. Thank you for coming.